Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we can, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. As you can tell, my camera is just facing a nothing right now. We're just doing a channel video. We're gonna be doing these more often. Basically, whenever I have a lot of messages, uh, we do these mostly in members, um, as well as just like any extended. So definitely if you like this type of content, or if you like the details that go with my messages, join members. Um, for members videos, we generally do like an extended for the last reading. So it kind of like correlates with that reading. So it makes more sense. But we're just going to be doing random videos, whatever comes out. Um, if you like the video too, if anything resonates, please like, comment, and subscribe as always. Um, join membership, like I said, if you do enjoy this type of content, it's the join button below the video or the link in the description box. Um, and then also likely in the future i'll just be doing this like more live on camera just like as in you know channeling when things come to me but just because i have so much content <laughs> built up from all the times that i've been channeling lately like it's just been coming through a lot we have a lot of messages I haven't even went through so we're just going to talk about those today anyways all right with all that being said we're going to get into it so again these are random messages take what resonates leave what doesn't this is just channel messages for the general collective okay so I was hearing something about the name Alberto Rodriguez. I heard Maple Grove Farms, something about Jax, a Jackson, the name Jax, like maybe it's a short form for something or Jax County, I heard. I heard something about five counts of assault and battery, um, something about Ube, Ube, I think that's like, um, is that to do with like, uh, I don't know, milk, <laughs> what is it called, that drink, the um, milk tea? I don't know, do they... Or like ice cream. I think they make ice cream like that. I don't know. Anyways, um, by the way, some of these messages will relate to our general read. Some of them, are honestly, again, are just random. Like they might relate to some person's specific situation. Anyways, okay. Um, I'm also hearing Finch West, something to do with a subway station in Toronto. I think I mentioned that in the last read, actually. Um, I'm hearing the name Alicia a lot or Alisa, something like that name I'm hearing often. Um... I'm also hearing Machiavelli a lot, which is random. Uh, I heard registered offender, something about a purple nightgown or purple purple dress. We kind of talked about this one. This keeps coming out. Something about something purple. Um, very significant. But I have been getting like it's some sort of like dress, nightgown or something to do with like lingerie even. Um, I heard roped into a contract, something about Yankee Stadium. That's come out a couple times. Um <clears throat> I also heard something about butter chicken. I heard juvenile delinquent, which has come out just a couple times in like the last week, I think. Um, I'm hearing Roberto Fernando, Her Hernando Perez. I think we talked about a couple of these in members just because I pointed them out. Um, yeah, I'm also hearing worship, something about a parking meter. I heard um, Omari. I keep hearing that name, Omar, Omari. Something about a piece of purple paper. Again, something purple. I need to say my piece on the news today. I'm going to be spending more time reading comic books. Someone reads comic books. Um, I think I heard a specific one later on or something about that again. I heard I need to pick up the flowers. Something about a Roman empire. I have been getting a lot of messages about Rome lately. This could be where someone wants to take someone on a trip. I don't know what it is about Rome, but I'm getting that a lot. And I keep hearing Roman empire. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hearing something about roses. I heard standing at the bottom of the lake showing someone my music. Um, a fur friend. Maybe someone is adopting a new pet that would actually relate to, I think, some of the members' messages from yesterday. I also heard, look at me, I'm so perfect. <laughs> Ronaldo. I'm hearing Capricorn. Coliseum. I also heard Aries yesterday. Um, I'm hearing Ron Perez. I looked up, I mean, some of the names I look up just to see, you know, if anyone pops up at all. There's Ron Perez that does tax consulting in California. I thought could be significant because I have had stuff come out about taxes as well. Um, I heard no fair. I need to see my cousin this morning. Something about Nightingale. I'm preparing a romantic ceremony. I heard call soon. Something about full moon night, like it'll be a full, full moon at that night, I don't know, heard Carson, say no more, did you want a second piece, YMCA, Sunview Hotel, or Motel maybe, uh, I heard Manhattan, New York, 
Yeah, and then there is a Sunview. I think I looked this up. There's a Sunview Motel that's in Tannersville, New York, which is interesting because I heard those two like right after one another. Um, also, we're preparing a romantic summer dinner at the Phantom of the Opera. Uh, again, guys, sometimes these messages, I've explained this, remember, they come through like a little bit jumbled. So you kind of just have to pick out what is significant. Um, but yes, Phantom of the Opera has come out a lot lately. Um, I'm hearing roasting a piece of chicken on the fireside. Someone could be out. I keep getting messages about someone outdoors camping, like by a fire. Someone is in an RV or someone is in a campground. I don't know. Heard raking leaves. I'm so close to being a millionaire. Something about a New York university or high school department head. I'm so close to being free. I keep hearing that. I heard eerier. Ar archives 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 <laughs> the number five the number five has been coming out a lot lately actually um i heard i'm remembering what school she went to something about purple jaded i can't forget what you said in november the month of november is very significant this has been coming out a lot um i heard you put something in my food which again this message has come through multiple times about someone putting something in someone's food or drink um, I heard, should I put my parents in the ceremony? Something about Friday night music, pictures in the school newspaper, friends in the school newspaper, announcing a student is going to be sued for millions of dollars. A school, it could be a school is going to be sued. <laughs> a parent trying to protect their child and figure out what someone did. Something about, um, I heard, I wanted you to pick me as the new representative of the committee. High school teachers being framed for unaliving someone. I don't know. I keep getting something about a high school teacher some, somehow is significant. Um, I heard mourning the loss of a child. Chances are you didn't do it. It's going to be a big presentation on the news. Philadelphia, something about California. Privatized care. Preparing for a musical performance. Something about pie again. That's been very significant lately. Um, I heard, pack my suitcase, New England school of something. Um, are you sure that you want to change the lyrics to the song so soon? Do you want to put them in something else? Uh, this is also a message I think we did talk about more in members, guys. Something about changing lyrics to a song um, that someone wrote uh, for you, potentially. Also heard, are you sure you want to move to Miami? Um, Miami's also come out very often lately. I heard Santa Barbara Pier, Al Aldersbrook, Wal Waldersbrook, change the lyrics to the song. I keep hearing that. Lash Tech School of Arts, something about Hershey. Uh, or sorry, Hershey. <laughs> it was hearsay that I heard, not Hershey. Um, something about modern washrooms. I have been getting that someone has been renovating their bathroom lately, changing things up. Something about a shower head, um, getting a plumber to come in. I don't know. Someone's like redoing a bathroom maybe. Heard lip syncing, art school grad, news article. Do you want me to pick, pick, sorry. Do you want me to pick you up at the front of the theater on Wednesday and we'll take it from there? Did you figure out what song you want to play? <clears throat> By the way, if you're a member, you already know Wednesday has been coming out nonstop in readings. There's something significant about a Wednesday. This could have happened in the past. Something about a movie theater. I don't know what happened on a Wednesday, but it's significant. And something about 9 a.m. on a Wednesday could be very significant. I don't know. Again, I, I feel like this could be in a court case or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm hearing, did you figure out what song you want to play? I can't see anything. It's too dark. I have a friend in the music industry. They said your approach was solid. Pretty simple, but also has some nice decals and front lines. I don't know. Heard tarp covering it. Something about a sound barrier. Complaining it's too loud. <laughs> Heard licking the phone. Dripping down their fingers. Measuring the shape of someone's fingers. Is it too small or do I need a bigger one? Should I buy something a bit more flashy? Something about November. Again, measuring how far it will be for me to drive to school every day. Something about sci-fi. That makes me think of the comics from earlier. Um, I keep hearing, like yesterday I kept getting something about bigger or smaller, like someone was measuring something for sure. Uh, this could be like construction or I'm also getting for some of you, this is like ring sizing that someone's doing, I'm trying to figure out the size. I heard more suited to, for her size right after that. I also heard she, <laughs> this message, sorry, Luca's here, coming to say hi, hi buddy. Um, so I also heard the message, she has small feet, so she probably has small hands too. <laughs> It's going to be a single single digit number, probably. That's what I heard. I don't know. I also heard 
um, form it around the shaft. I don't know. I heard dripping sticky, dripping down fingers, pouring rain outside. I got to take off my shirt and put on something different. It dripped everywhere. It smells. I have a feeling, yeah, something about something sticky. This has come up so many times or dripping down someone's shirt. I keep getting they had to change shirts. I don't know what that's about. Um, I heard I have a feeling it's going to be a bit much. It's going to rain. It requires me to pay a fee at the toll. I have receipts about your spending. It's a lot. Receipts for clothing. Something about a car. Um, this could be in a karmic situation. Someone found receipts of someone's spending. Uh, like, on, like a lot of credit card debt built up for something to do with clothing. And also buying a car even on someone's credit card. Something about car keys. Um, I heard Muddy Roads Freeway ran into the school, but I was going to be late. School bus. Um, I also heard Proposal. It's too soon. Probably going to be a bit sooner than I expected. I'm likely going to be mu moving in a few days. She doesn't know. Small Ceremony, Wy Wyoming Fields. I don't know. Randomly, Wyoming has come out a couple of times. I also heard Show of Hands, how many people think this is a good idea. And then I heard i heard okay so none of you <laughs> i also heard i pledge allegiance to my lord and savior i've heard this a few times but i just keep hearing like i pledge allegiance to something this makes me think of like a sorority or something again i did mention that in past readings i don't know maybe that's significant or this could be something else i heard private wedding something about in new hampshire moving to newfoundland in november something about newfoundland's come out a few times or nova scotia like that area Picking her up from school, freaking out. Should I send her a package in the mail or should I just put it in her mailbox at the front door? Um, Luca, where are you going, buddy? Okay. Not really sure what's going on. All right. Okay, I'm also hearing I gotta pick up the phone and call her. She's gonna be so mad. She's gonna say I'm being silly, prying for information. She needs to know what I've been up to. She wants to know what I'm doing right now. Tell her we're at the field. We're busy doing something. We can't answer right now. We're super private. Yeah, there's definitely, this is a message we talked about a lot in members. But yeah, there's definitely someone trying to call someone else to find out their whereabouts and they're getting angry about it. So yeah, if you want to hear more about that, I think I talked about it for a thousand years in members. <laughs> um anyways uh yeah i also heard we're super private gotta cancel the fundraiser this could also be canceling some sort of event someone had planned for you i heard tell her we're not here wants to know where i've been i'm not answering i'm not available right now i gotta pick up my pants at the dry cleaners mind your own business something about a ford escape or ford explorer uh someone wears orthopedic shoes i heard something about a foot fetish also which it's very interesting to some messages and visions I got last night, man. Guys, I don't even know what's going on lately. My channelings are getting crazy. Like, literally last night I was in bed and I, like, channel in my sleep. It's super weird. And it gets, it's because, like, your brain, when it's, you know, the calmest, like, when you're sleeping, your subconscious mind is so active and you can just channel so easily. But then I'm, like, in the middle of dreams and I'm waking up and, like, writing things on my phone, but I'm, like, half awake when I do it. So I don't even know what I wrote half the time till the morning. <laughs> and then sometimes I think I wrote something down and then I was dreaming that I wrote it down. So I never did, which is annoying, but... Anyways, so there's definitely some weird messages I got last night. We'll talk about those maybe in today's read or in the members. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I'm also hearing something, again, about uh, her purple chairs, purple hair. I don't know what's with the color purple. It's very significant. I also heard, I have a feeling I'm going to be spending a lot of money, something about balloons. I don't have space to put everything. It's too crowded. Can we move some stuff out of the way? Packed with chairs, something about folding chairs. A mandatory meeting at the school. It's something I need to go to. Priority shipping. I heard $9,999. I shouldn't have spent that much. Something about healing from injury. I remember what someone said about their feet being small. I don't know what's with small feet. Again, there's something about feet. Uh, renting a car. Um, something about loose change. I've heard that quite a few time, times now, which again makes me think of, you know, someone... I think we talked about this. I don't know. I'm starting to forget if we talked about things in members or, or in general reads, but we did talk about someone, I think, on the street, like, you know, begging for change or, like, you know, playing music for spare change, stuff like that. Um, something about a recording studio, again, is coming out. I heard ripping off the bandage. Something about Halloween. 
Can you see where I put the tape, holding out your hand, putting something into it, arguing about the size, picking a specific color, one of a kind, step outside your comfort zone, try something new. There's something about someone telling another person to, you know, like go ahead with their idea to start their own business. Like if someone's nervous about that, like I was getting that someone else was telling them like you can do it, like just go for it. Like I believe in yourself. Someone was giving another person a pep talk. Um, also heard something about Kleenex from the night someone stayed over could be being looked at like for evidence, like forensic evidence. Um, something about Newberry, Michigan or South Carolina. Again, I'm hearing something about Hernandez or Ferreras. I heard the song where it's like, and you're gonna love me. Yeah. <laughs> that song. I also heard something about shortness of breath. Pledge Allegiance, I heard that again, Pectoral Fin, Salvation Army, New Class Citizen, you're so close to meeting your soulmate, I'm here on the other side of the road begging for change from strangers, something about a motel, trying to save up for my military assignment, that one was a weird message, because we have gotten stuff about military and army, I do feel like someone, yeah, someone here is in the military army. I've just picked up on that throughout the readings for like a long time, but it's kind of like this odd message that just comes through once in a while. Yeah. I'm also hearing just getting by as well. Something about a smoothie for lunch today. I want to spend my time in New York, but I'm, but I'm far away spending my time in this stupid prison in New Hampshire. Again, remember, take locations with a grain of salt, but, um, I mean, the locations are significant, but the way that they're in the sentences, take that with a grain of salt. But anyways, um, definitely someone could be in. Um, I do get that someone was not able to go somewhere or travel somewhere because they were either like taken into custody or something or they were dealing with a legal matter where they were not allowed to leave. Um, someone, yeah, even not allowed to contact someone. Like, I don't know. That was significant. I heard something about three days. I need to play her song at the music hall. I'm prioritizing myself now. I'm putting myself first because I'm spending my money on things that inspire me and put me in a better position in my life to move forward and share my life with another person. I want to spend my life with you. I want to take you on trips and I want to bring our children to the festival in New York and share their stories with the world. They can bring their students to the marching band in Bridgerton. Again, remember, channeling is random. You got to just pick out what makes sense. <laughs> Um, I heard I need to play music outside the field. It's going to be a sweaty day. I'm already packed up. I got my stuff together. I got to, I just got to bring it to the door, shouting at someone to hurry up. You need to hurry up and get your stuff together because I need to go. I have to hurry up. I don't know. Yeah. I need to get to the airport before the plane leaves. I'm going to be late. I need to hurry. The suitcase is full of shit. Uh, I need to pack more stuff. So I feel like this could have been in the past as well. Someone was rushing to get to an airport. I feel like someone, but then they didn't end up making it on time or something like that. Someone stopped them or someone got in their way. I do feel like that did happen in the past. I was seeing stuff about needing a refund or something, cancellation fee. I don't know. I'm also hearing it's so hot and melting. The food is melting. The cinder blocks are melting. The people at the buffet are melting. <laughs> Again, yeah. Um... So something about a buffet, something about cinder blocks, remember, yeah, take everything. <laughs> it's not that everything is melting, although it seems that way. Um, something about a lot of stuff is melting. It's a really hot day. I've gotten this message for a long time about, like, ice cream melting or something. Like, people need to hurry up and eat it. It's just melting everywhere. Or as something made of ice. I don't know. Anyways. But yeah, I heard the water fountain is melting. The balloons are melting. So yeah. There's an event with a buffet, a water fountain, something about balloons. Um, could it be out in the field somewhere, outdoors somewhere? I heard the cake is melting. Everything is just melting. I'm putting my foot down. This is the last time I do this. I'm not spending any more money on your stupid crafts and horse tricks. You are, you are, I don't know what this is. You are now, if you are my soulmate, you're so freaking beautiful. You have the most beautiful eyes and smile so much. It makes me happy. I put my favorite shoes on when I went to your house and brought them upstairs and I put them on the shelf and I left them in the little cubby hole in the wall and I put my shoes on. I don't know what's with the shoes again. Um, something about a cross necklace and a freckle on someone's left nostril or like right below it. I heard I wore my high heels, supposed to say Miss Bennett, but it says basketball team and Westmont High. Yeah, the name Bennett has come out a lot lately, and then I was hearing Miss Bennett. 
so it's interesting. Um, I heard curly hair, tan skin, some makeup I have to put on. I have a few bits of brown chest hair <laughs> and some different color eyes. There's something about you that's not the same. It's like you look like you're a little bit younger than before. You look like you're someone else. You don't look like um, them. You look like a, a child. You're someone that I'm not trying to be with. You're freaking person with gold hair and shoes that are colored and why are you, why are you playing music at the festival in November something about playing music at a festival is significant that's been coming out a lot um something about the month of November again um but it's gonna be a song about someone I feel emotional about I feel emotional I feel sad when I think of you you're always just there in my mind and I feel like I can't stop thinking of you I constantly feel like you're somewhere with a new person and maverick I don't know I heard I feel like you're just gonna have to move on without me I feel like you're gonna find someone else and just be happy and then you're you're gonna not remember my feelings you're gonna close the door on me and it's just gonna feel like I'm so lost and I have no one and I'm just nobody and everybody hates me and life sucks wow f this I hate everything I feel like nobody understands what I'm going through I'm just so frustrated with how things are going feeling like I'm looking in from the outside like I'm pulling my own two feet off the ground into the brewery Hi, Luca. Okay. Um, yeah, so I feel like this reminds me of, like, that message about someone on the phone with someone else telling them about, like, how they feel like their life sucks right now, everything's not going right, and the fact that they're still thinking of a divine feminine, like, a, this person that they're still, like, have feelings for and how they had all this stuff planned, but then it all got ruined, and then, like, the fact that also their life, just everything else isn't going right, like their job isn't, they lost money because someone spent too much money on their credit card, like, it's just like, I feel like this person was in one of those really bad mindsets, you know, when everything was going kind of wrong, um, and I just see them talking to, like, a family member or something, or someone on the phone that was being supportive, trying to help them feel better, um, but yeah, I feel like someone was really just like going through it and they were really missing a divine feminine, like a lot. Like, I just feel like this person was so upset because they were so excited to see, see this person. Anyways, I'm also hearing, can you bring me a bottle of wine so I can pour it for my manager? She wants me to pay her back the money I owe, but it's like too much. I don't really want to. I have something in the back, but that's really it. I don't, I don't really have that much to offer. I just have like my door and my socks and my papers on the ground. I just have so many things I want to say, but none of them sound good. And I just feel like I'm being fake, like I'm being so cold and delicious. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to slow down and stop trying to make my person like me. She gave me a bottle of champagne. She said it was going to be a few drinks, but I ended up staying over. And then she put my foot in my mouth. I don't know. She put my socks in the drawer for me, something about socks in the bed. She found a piece of, I don't know what that says, my phone autocorrects sometimes, guys. She found a piece of something in my shoebox, and then she took my company carry-on bag and stuffed it in her suitcase. She took my phone away. Why would she take my phone? She put it in her pocket and ran away. She took my cell phone and answered it like it was me, and then put my friends on the line to change it. I don't know. You deserve better. You deserve someone who treats you like a queen. You deserve someone who treats you like a marchino cherry pie, like a beautiful cabaret wine and some roses around the bottom of the bathtub and some flowers in the garden. That's that's a treat. Treat you like a monastery church. I don't know, a gold painting of lace around the curtains. They should treat you like a musical. I feel like this could be describing what someone wanted to do for you, um, ultimately. I also heard dribbling the basketball around the corner so fast look at me I'm I'm a future mother-in-law to my child this child is my future son he's gonna bring me all the children and we're gonna we're gonna make love in the bathroom at 9 a.m on Wednesday see I swear 9 a.m on a Wednesday I've heard this message so many times and it's gonna be so freaking weird because I'm gonna be pretending to be my student daughter in the bathroom and she's gonna she's gonna take him into the bedroom and then be a few drinks into the night and show him what it's like to experience a, f a freezer I don't know but see this is such a weird message I keep getting that like someone's daughter is doing something or someone's sister is doing something with someone in like a video a sexual video I don't know I'm so random I don't know sorry Luca's climbing all over me right now guys I'm trying to like concentrate but he's being so squirmy what do you want okay I'm going that way all right all right anyways yeah I keep getting this message about like 
there was some situation with like a younger person and a masculine at night someone filmed that I feel but I don't know if it's this masculine we've been discussing like I really feel like it could be someone else that's in the video and this is like someone's sister in a video or like someone younger or I don't know like just a feminine I have no idea but I feel like someone's mother could know about this or be in on this or like just know about it I don't know Anyways, I keep getting something about a mother, too. I heard my mother is making me put on a fake outfit and show you my song. My mother wants me to say I'm pretending to be a sombrero. My mother wants me to pretend to be calm, a calm comedy artist in San Francisco and show you how Maya's shoes fit on my feet and dance around the room in the bathroom and show her that I'm so soaked in water and why I am having, I heard, having sex outside in the park. We were so loud people could hear us. We had to stop and put something on the door handle. Um, we had to take it down a notch, put something on the on the TV to drown out the noise. We had to put something on the something. Uh, putting something on the door handle makes me think of like a hotel or something. I heard Jody, my pants are on fire. I need you to come wash them. Um, my sold out show is going to premiere on November 6, 1995 in Halliburton. I, yeah, this is a weird message. I'm hearing something about November 6th that's significant. Um, something about Halliburton. I don't know what that is. <laughs> is that a place? Um, Nova Scotia, something about Halifax. I heard that a bunch of times. And then, yeah, November 6th could just be a specific date for something that happened since November's so significant. I feel like it could have been someone's birthday, though, or something. Like, I do feel like there was a birthday party or something in November. Um... Yeah, the month of November is just very significant, but November 6th, 1995 is super specific. That could be someone's birthday or just, like, when someone was born that year. I don't know. I heard that's my son's birthday, so there you go. I heard it's going to be really fun. It's going to be a really fun one. We're going to have balloons, and we're going to have a donkey, and he's going to sit. He's going to sing a song to the children. We're going to play a few games at the table. We're going to bring some chocolate cake and some purple chalk, purple fruity candy. I don't know. Again, purple. And then try to put some artwork on the walls to plaster up over the old stains. Yeah, I've been getting messages about putting plaster on walls too. That's significant. Um, I feel like I went through some of these messages, guys. One second. I don't know. And members, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. You guys, let me know. I'm sorry if I'm repeating messages. I hope not. But <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. Anyways, uh, I'm hearing... My first day of school is on Wednesday. We're going to eat candy and make candy canes on the front porch and show someone what my favorite color is. I have five different shoes on the shelf and they're all mine. This sounds like a kid talking. I also have a water balloon fight in my front yard and we're going to make snowmen outside. I'm going to bring my CD player to the bathroom. Then I could put my friend's notebook on the shelf and we're going to read it to everyone. It says something about you finding a person and sending them a remote control and trying to break into the window. I have been getting messages about someone trying to break into a window, definitely. Um, and Slimshot? What am I typing? And Slimshot, but instead I walked through the door and then we just went into the bedroom and then we found a something. I don't know, my phone? Ugh, so frustrating. Autocrats because I, I read out and then it just types it into text. Um, and then we found a something. Uh, we found a little piece of gum on the floor and it said some. I think it's Luca. Can we stop, please? I love you. Uh, it's we found a little piece of paper on the floor, and it said something on it that you that you were going to be moving to Florida in November. Someone was definitely, I feel, planning to move in the month of November, or that's when someone found out that they were gonna move. Like this is super significant, or that they were gonna travel in that month to see you, is what I feel. Um, but then you didn't want to, so then we took the phone and then we smashed it on the floor and we told people that you said something to us that was really wrong and that, that you would do it. I don't know. I enjoy being with you. You're so fun. It's exciting. It's exhilarating. I love finding out what summer fun festival we'll go to next. Yeah, there's something about a summer festival, I swear, like a music festival or a summer festival. Uh, yeah, it keeps coming out. Are we going to go to the conference in San Francisco on Wednesday? Are we going to buy ourselves a pair of shorts to bring to the waterfall? We got to pick up our suitcases and bring them to the front desk or else we're going to be late for the airport, the airplane, Wednesday. 
I swear, Wednesday is just a, a very significant day, apparently. It has come out nonstop in all of my channeling over and over. Um, I heard we have to stop at the candy store to buy some liquor. Li I was hearing it like liqueur, liqueur. And, and Sean, Johnny has to eat his fillings, has to eat his fillings to the tooth fairy. I don't know. I've been getting stuff about teeth lately, so maybe someone's lost some teeth or something. I don't know if it's in a good way, though, because I've also got stuff about dentures. Um, I heard my pet frog is coming with us to the wedding in September. It's going to be a fall wedding. I want everyone to wear the color pink or purple and show me the best kind of love in history. It's going to be magnificent. We're going to put, we're going to have shoulders to cry on. We're going to put a few decorations and shower them with gold printing and show everyone a spot in the grass where they can sit and it's going to be outdoors. We're going to put up a fence around the tree line so everyone's, everyone is locked into place. I want to impress you. I want to show you a good time. I want to show you how fun I am and how I can break dance on the carpet <laughs> and show you my moves. I'm just so funny sometimes. I want to walk away and just pretend like I'm going to sleep so that you don't look at me. I want you to just think that I'm gone, that I walked away because I felt like I couldn't be there for you in the first place. I just didn't want you to see me watering my plants in the, in the non-bread. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't want you to see me when I backed into the driveway, you're going to be so surprised when I walk up the street. You're not going to know what's coming. I'm probably going to hit you with a piece of plastic and shove it in your mouth. I don't know. This is like a combination of nice messages, I feel, and not so great messages. Like, I, it's all jumbled together. But um, I feel like, yeah, someone was definitely planning something for you. They were planning to even, like, show up at your house or something. I definitely feel someone was planning an outdoor type of wedding somewhere. Um, definitely. I, I swear, it's not just a proposal for some of you. They're planning, like, an entire wedding or something. Or, or I don't know, a big event. And this is what they were planning to reveal, again, like, last year. But then it got messed up, whatever this was, or got cancelled. And then now I feel like they're repeating this, like, this summer. Like, they're trying to make it work. It was supposed to be in, like, the fall or something. And now it's supposed to be in summer. That's what I feel. Anyways, uh, yeah, I heard something about shoving a piece of plastic in someone's mouth again doesn't always make sense wake up you don't need to you don't need to fall asleep if you stay here and practice your I don't know whatever <laughs> I don't know guys are we enjoying this does this make any sense to anyone like I don't know these sometimes they're more clear the messages sometimes they're more jumbled I feel like the the read I did in members was probably a little bit more clear than this this is a little bit more jumbled but it is what it is. I also have a lot of like single word messages. So if you guys like that better, like we can do more of that. But I like to channel in like sentences too, just because you get more of the situation that's going on, even if it does sound really convoluted sometimes. Anyways, I'm hearing, what do I do about this? Should I come see you in November or should I stay until the school year is done and then make my way to the frozen section of the grocery store and call my mom? She said that I can buy a few things and take them to her house in Wyoming. Something about liquor again. She wants me to bring a bottle of whiskey or wine. She wants me to bring it so that she can pop the bottle and share it with her friends. She wants me to walk over to the school and open up the doors and bring my friends into the room and share my supplies with them. Maybe someone was getting, like, maybe someone underage was getting someone else to buy them, like, alcohol or something. I don't know. Um, he says that he wants to eat somewhere else this weekend. He wants to bring me to a fine dining restaurant. Something about prickly pear soup. I've been hearing messages about soup lately someone wants to make you soup he wants to take you to his sunday dinner at his mom's house and show you what kind of food she makes are you getting off the song are you getting off the song new place without saying goodbye or are you going to tell us that you were leaving or are you just going to walk away without saying anything that was kind of stupid are you prying open the lemon jar i've been getting messages about someone trying to pry open a jar i don't know that's been coming through for a while I heard I need some, I need some carrots to go with my stew. I don't have enough. Can you bring me more carrots? I need some carrots for the horses too. I gotta, I gotta feed them a bit of orange liqueur. I'm, I keep hearing that. And shovel the pathway to the house because it needs some shoveling. My bucket is full of sand. I'm going to put it in the sand castle and show you how, how far I made it. Look how far I made it out into the water. Look at me. I'm pressure, I'm pressuring the waves. What? I think I'm like, it's supposed to be like I'm riding the waves. This reminds me of the messages we had last night about a kid, like, in the water, and they're, like, showing off in front of this masculine. I definitely feel like there could be a kid here. 
Um, because some of the messages definitely sound like a child. Um, or maybe someone just is really immature. I don't know. I heard I'm probably pr prize prizing. I'm probably, oh my gosh, I think my phone just autocorrected this. I'm riding the waves. I'm surfing on the waves. I have I have a suitcase full packed of clothes in boxes and shoes and the house is pretty much empty now. So I'm going to bring all my stuff to the neighbor's house and walk the dog. Um, I'm going to walk their dog to the factory in Belleville. I don't know. I heard, did you want to bring your candle wax to the comedy network? Something about, again, comedy network has come out a lot. Something about a champagne bottle, whiskey, NyQuil has come out a lot. I also heard something about a bed frame. Um something about one second a house a ch also getting something about a tree house that's come out a few times um heard a bed candle something about nyquil a door handle to the room friday night live studio apartment just kidding i wanted to keep it a secret but why did you know what i was talking about where did you find that out how did you hear me because i had the door closed you weren't even there you had to have done something to the bedroom door did you have to put something in the room did you want me to find it did you want me to see where you're what you were doing in the bathroom I knew that you were hiding in there you had something in your hand I saw it, it was like a piece of paper or something you put something something you put into your backpack why did you take it why did you put it into your bag give it back to me I want to see it um where am I what is it tell me I just need to see it I don't care if you give it back to me it's okay it's a stupid piece of plastic why does it matter why do you need it back if I take it, it doesn't matter. It's just a piece of rubber. It's a piece of rubber that my mom, that, sorry, my mom, I don't know why I said that, that has my name on it. It's us. It's a piece of tape. I forged your signature on a document and put it in the newspaper. I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely getting, though, this reminds me of the message again from last night where a kid put, like, something in their backpack, and he's like, why did you take that? Like, he, they took something of this masculine that was important, like a letter or, like, um, even a recording or something, like a USB maybe. Like, I definitely feel like they took something, and he's asking for it back, or he's searching their bag to get it back. Okay, um, what else? I heard, yeah, something about forging a signature on a document. I have seen that come out a few times. There was that message, I don't know if we mentioned it, I think we did in the general video, about someone's handwriting. They were like, that's not my handwriting, like, I don't write like that, I never would have wrote something that said that, so, I do feel like someone definitely copied someone's signature or something. Um, I heard there's a news article about you, your school is ta talking about how someone probably is going to be fired, they're going to have to pay back a lot of money to the, the, fa the founding fathers, I don't know. They're going to have to spend more money on the school system and show some respect. Can you believe it? Someone at the school is going to be let go. They're going to run away. They're going to sh show their self at the court and talk about how someone lied, how they framed someone else for being a predator. They framed someone. They said that he uh, sucked someone something. Um, I, yeah, I, I shouldn't be here. I have to do, I have to work. I'm going to pick up my children at the school or at the daycare. Can you, can you please give them a ride home? I just need you to grab them because right now I have a lot of stuff to do today. I'm going to be busy at my job in Nicholson. Can you just be any more stupid or you're so annoying and you need a job and you need to stop buying things on my credit card. You have so many pieces of plastic in the garbage can. It's just getting outrageous. Stop buying these bottles of champagne and sharing them with your friends. Show me some respect and take your stuff upstairs. Put it in your room. Clean up your stuff and walk away from the desk in your apartment it's going to be a big deal if you stop hiring people at the hair salon the hair salon the hair salon is where i go to pick up my children they had a haircut on wednesday i have something about wednesday again i don't know guys there's definitely someone here could be a hairdresser i've kind of felt that for a while there's been something about hair a lot uh and like hair products i heard hair salon in bondi village i heard something about yeah, there's something about Muskoka, something about California. Um, Luca, can we sit down? Okay. No? Okay, we're just going to climb on me. Awesome. Um, how long is this video now? Okay. I feel like I've been talking forever. Um, oh, I just realized I paused the video. I was like, it's only 18 minutes. <laughs> um, anyways, I don't know if you guys want more messages like this. I have more. Um, okay, we'll just finish this section and then we'll be done. Again, the members message, I feel, was a little more, like, 
have more substance to it at least like made more sense i feel like this message particularly was very random even more so than usual so i do apologize but not all the messages are this random okay i'm also hearing something about an area rug a chaperone to the dance um i heard miss sandra lewis um handles all of the internal care issues she's going to bake a cake for the wedding did you want strawberry filling layered cake strawberry pie I apologize for my cat guys um he just really wants outside we're going out later we do every day he's just dramatic <laughs> uh yeah so definitely something about someone baking cake i feel for something significant something about strawberry pie or strawberry strawberry cake um arita jones allison cooper andrea cooper that last name cooper has come out a lot i've also heard cooper daniels a lot in like past readings current readings that name has come out all the time I heard Cassandra Lewis, San or Sandra Lewis, Chandra. I'm hearing the name Chandra a lot. My cat is currently ripping something open. One second, I don't know. Whatever. We'll just we'll just deal with it. <laughs> it's distracting him. I heard looking around for something in your backpack. It's got to be here. A special note I wrote for you in September. So yeah, someone, this kid. I swear, someone's kid took something this masculine wrote. Guys, I also heard BBC. I heard slow motion song. You know. I think that song's by like Trey something. Trey. So, yeah, you can listen look it up. <laughs> I heard she has bony fingers. We didn't need to know that. A piercing pressed up against my lips. Sloppy top. I heard aviator glasses. I also heard Artemisius, Southwest Airlines. They want him to go to rehab for his drug problem, but he says he doesn't have one. Brian Hemsworth. Um, I heard he's playing music at the music hall in February. The bathroom mirror was knocked off the wall and broken in pieces. I used a screwdriver to fix it. Picking their clothes up off the floor. They have a different outfit. I don't want them to think I've been sleeping. Friends name on the list to give them access to the building. Tried selling my feet pics for money, but it wasn't enough. What's your favorite kind of music? Do you like hip hop or rap or something else? Alessandra, something about shea butter, flamingos. Also, when I heard this message, flamingos, I think I mentioned this, but like I saw it as like a vision. It was like a, a a bar. Like I feel like I was seeing a vision of like a nightclub or something. So that's what that could be um, specifically because I have it, stuff about flamingos coming a couple times. Um, I heard Centurion, Something about playing music at a venue, again, very significant. Something about playing music at a festival or a venue of some sort in the summer, I feel. I also heard I recorded a song about my feelings, trying to make a few bucks on the side of the street, changing the song lyrics to something else. It has to be a bit more low-key. I also heard the other day it has to be a bit more subtle, so someone's definitely feeling like maybe they were too emotional in a song or saying too much. I don't know. So don't know what my cat is destroying right now. It's a little questionable. He's in my office. I also heard I want to buy a phone charger so I can charge my phone while we wait at the airport. Something about Romano cheese and something about Jesse's girl. And I also heard something about a Kenmore dishwasher. So, oh my gosh, those are all the messages, at least for now. I do have more, but again, let me guys, let me guys, let me know guys, uh, what you like like if you like the more like paragraph messages or the more just like single word messages because i know it can get really random um i'll probably still do both like it gets clearer sometimes like i sometimes have clearer messages than others but yeah again just yeah take what resonates i know they're random but they do often like make sense later down the line i find especially if you like look at them you know like write things down together like how they come out because i'm reading them in order so Anyways, I'm going to go figure out what the heck my cat is destroying right now. Um, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also join membership if you like detailed messages. Again, we do extendeds for the specific reading, so it will make more sense based on the actual reading. Um, those will be details for that reading in particular. Uh, we also just do like bonus messages like too as well so yeah and there's been like two really long ones we posted recently again that are more clear likely than this message so if you're interested the join button below this video or the link in the description box also if you guys ever want to donate to my channel i really do appreciate that so much my cats do as well I can afford them the nicer food <laughs> so um it's the amazon wishlist 
below in the description box. You can buy anything on Amazon. Um, the cats have a wish list as well. And then also I have a yeah, PayPal link too. So thank you so much to everyone who decides to do that. By the way, guys, I forgot to say if you have not entered the contest yet for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway, definitely do so. Um, it is below in the description box, all the details for how to enter. I haven't had too many entries yet because I keep forgetting to mention it in videos. Um, but thank you to those who have entered and yeah, so, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. I'm going to go, uh, grab my cat now. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you.